Hey there, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be installing 86 box on Windows 10. So here's a fresh, fresh new copy of Windows 10 just installed. And I'm going to walk you guys through the whole process of obtaining 86 box, the ROMs, and the manager so that you can manage all the virtual machines. First things first, we're going to get 86 box. Go all the way down to the bottom here. And you can select regular, the debug, the optimized, or experimental. We're going to be taking the optimized for the sake of, you know, having a theoretical best uh, performance for the CPU. Mine is a Ryzen 3 um, 2700X, so we would be getting the Zen 2 here. If you're running Intel, it would be around here, depending on what you got, and so on, Santa Bridge, Skylake, so on. Okay, so... Now that you've selected which CPU you got and the version specific to that CPU, we can finally get down to the ROMs, which is right there. You click on ROMs and then you go here, code, download zip, and you download that as well. And then the manager, which you click here, and you click on 17.2 and you download the zip. Now that I got the three things, we're gonna get down to the whole installing point which is pretty simple actually so first of all you go anywhere you want and you make a folder called 86 box then again you can call it whatever you know just for that example you're going to be calling it 86 box then we go to down the downloads folder where all this stuff is gathered together and here's the optimized version of 86 box for the Ryzen, which we're going to be dragging into this folder so Drag this whole thing in there. Wonderful. And then we need the ROMs, which is right there. So we rename that. Oh, we can drag it first and then we rename it later. It doesn't matter. So let's drag it. It could take a little bit. Oh, that was that was actually surprisingly fast. So we just rename it to ROMs. There we go. We're almost ready. Now we just need to get the manager, which you can actually install anywhere so here's the manager let's drag it to the desktop why not so here's the 86 box manager we launch it and it's gonna say it's in a you know weird app running this app might put your pc at risk nah run anyway it's bullshit you go on settings and here oh already detected it that's amazing so that's the 86 box folder it detected a version as well and a vm path is there as well it might not i i tested it before just to make sure everything was working with this virtual machine so i installed and then deleted it so it's not gonna automatically do that like you just go and browse and then you pick the folder so documents 86 box there you click select folder and here for the vms same thing as well. You just make a folder and you point that to that specific folder and then you click OK. So let's make a virtual machine. You can import VM files. So if you have a pre existing machine, you can just import it there. But if you are running the manager for the first time, 86 box for the first time, you might as well make a brand new virtual machine. So let's call it test and description test, of course. And then we hit configure this virtual machine now so that it doesn't start on the 8088, which is the default for 86 box. You click on that. And then the virtual machine was, oh, no ROM is found. What? Excuse me. Oh, perhaps. Oh, that's why it was so quick. It's empty. Uh, I, I knew there was something off because that was so fast. Like, brah, what the hell? So copy, that, that, this must work. And now it's going to take a reasonable amount of time or so, I hope. Properties, no. The hell? What is happening here? It's the rooms, the folder is empty, what? What the hell just happened here? Hello? What the hell? Now that's really weird. Like, why? I did that take like seconds, like literally. Okay, this one, yeah, this one has the runs. 
and whatnot. That was that was really really weird, really weird stuff there. So we paste that, and as you can see, it takes a substantial amount of time because it has a lot of files in there. That's why I was so confused at first. Like, why was it so quick? While you know, it should take at least a couple of seconds. So change that to ROMs like so, and then we can get back into the manager and create our test VM. So configure, and as you can see now, we have all the options there. So let's run a, I don't know, perhaps a socket eight. What do we have here? Pentium Pro, huh? AP, Pentium Overdrive. Let's try Pentium Pro 150 with a 64 megabytes of RAM and a display. Let's go all fancy Nancy with a PCI uh, 3064 input devices. We could go with the Microsoft Zero Mobile Joystick. We don't have any Sun Blaster 16 network. I don't have PCAP working. I should make a uh, video on how to obtain and PCAP later on for now. Slurp is going to do Slurp and then. Scusi controller non internal controller hard disk. We make a new one. It's, it's a test VM, so it doesn't really matter. It's going to be within the folder. We're going to call it test VHD. There you go. It's a 500 megabyte hard disk, dynamic size. Okay, then the floppies we could go with a three and a half inch, another three and a half inch, because why not? A CD ROM. Yeah, let's slap a CD ROM on it. That's 30, no, let's make it faster, 72 times, and then bingo, there you go. Now we can start a virtual machine. And as you can tell, let's run set up, get into the BIOS. As you can tell, 86 box is working just fine. So that's basically it. That's how you install 86 box and the manager. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Quite literally, it's just that doesn't really take too much. And with the manager, you can, you know, use it like you would uh, any average, you know, hypervisor. So if you're used to VMware and VirtualBox, this emulator is going to be just walking apart. So the manager makes it very easy to just, you know, start, stop, configure, and whatever the machines. You could also. Go to manual way without the manager, which would be a little bit more complicated in a sense. I mean, it's not complicated per se, but like you would need to copy 86 box and SDKs, the DLLs and the ROMs to every folder. So let's say, oh, you want to make a new VM here. So you call it like Windows 95 and then you get all of that, like 86 box and the ROMs. You just copy that over there on Windows 95, you paste it there, you launch and then you go here on the 86 box itself after launching and go on settings and you change the settings as you wish and then it's going to generate a cfg file so it's generally easier to just use the manager it's more straightforward and you can also import as i said like the previous ones you had if you if you were running 86 box without manager beforehand but yeah that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh bye bye